Hello there and welcome to a brand new Hobby Street Week. This week we start with day 2224. And as ever, last night's or last week finished with some wonderful roleplay. Uh, last night we were doing a Transformers uh, game. Uh, it was lots of fun. Ignore the fact that it says there's more than time there. The GM couldn't find any Transformer stuff on uh, Roll20, so we had to sort of adapt and use that. But it was lots of fun and it included the Dinobots. Yay! My favourites. This week, however, we're going to crack on in there and we're going to finish this zoat. There is not much left to do with this big guy whatsoever. He's been an absolute blast to paint as well. I've really, really, really enjoyed painting him. I really like simple, 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 let's learn to talk, simple models that don't take long. I really enjoy dry brushing, like scaly skin as well. I find that really satisfying. Uh, and I think it leaves such a wonderful, brilliant effect on the overall model. I even had less time um, today as well to do uh, what I wanted to do, um, as I had a couple of phone calls that I had to deal with. Um, but yeah, so much fun. Absolutely, uh, absolutely loved doing him. He's uh, now done. And uh, getting ever closer to the end of Blackstone Fortress. Um, after I based him, I thought I'd continue to base more of the Black Blackstone Fortress stuff um, that I had in the back burner. So I also um, did the ghouls as well. It's just a couple more units now to finish off the basing um, and then everything will be up to date ish. Today is 2225 and I'm going to start work or continue work I should say on the Mace Windu, the parties, I want to say the party's over, um, Star Wars Shatterpoint uh, pack. It's only going to be the actual troopers today um, because well I want to uh, get, the, get them out of the way because I'm, I'm not worried by painting white anymore, it doesn't bother me that much like it used to when I was younger. Uh, but it's still a bit fiddly and a bit pain in the backside, um, so I'd rather do that now. I got as far as I uh, could today. Sadly, though, um, I didn't finish off um, all three of them. Two of them are pretty much done now, so I just really need to be based and have a few more tiny sort of colourful details added. Well, one of them needs details and, uh, detailing added. The other one uh, doesn't. And then tomorrow I'll be finishing off the Commander and then starting work on Mace Windu himself. So yeah, a bit of a, uh, bit of a boring day today because uh, white is boring to, to paint, let's be honest. It, it does get kind of dull. Today is day 2226 and work continues on the Star Wars Shadowpoint Party's Over pack. There's uh, it's not really much to report, to be honest. It's just finished off the uh, the commander's... Um, oh, what is his name? You know, I have no idea what his name is. But anyway, I finished with the white on him and started the red detailing. And then I moved on to Mace Windu. Um, yeah, he's coming along quite nicely. He's not quite finished. I got as far as I could with him. Um, I only had, like, about an hour and a half. No, less than that, actually. About an hour and... 15 minutes I think um, so I cracked on as much as I could um, and he got to a position where it's just his skin really left to do along with that commander's head and then all I need to do is base the pair and jobs are good so these guys will definitely be finished tomorrow and then I can start with the next project um, I'll give you a clue it's more Marvel Zombie stuff because I've got so much Marvel Zombie stuff and I really need to get through it Today is 2,227 and I'm going to finish off um, the Mace Window pack for Star Wars Shatterpoint. As there's not much left to do today, it's really just the head um, and a few minor details and then the base. And when I say minor details, I mean incredibly minor details. It's literally just a lightsaber. I don't know why I just didn't say lightsaber. After those things were out of the way, I then went ahead and carried on uh, with the bases. And uh, yeah, all in all, it only took around about an hour, hour and 15. I didn't have my full time today, however, because I was uh, sorting out sort of certain things. Uh, this is my partner's birthday today. So, happy birthday, Rosie. Uh, I love you very much, and I hope you enjoyed your presents. And with that, that's the, uh, that's the Mace Windu pack out of the way. Now I've got another excuse to buy another pack. But before I do that, however, I'm going to move on to more Marvel Zombies stuff. This time it's Miles Morales and Carnage. After basically sorting out the black on Miles Morales and getting that all sort of very subtly highlighted I went ahead and dove into the red and then immediately hit a wash wall but it's perfectly fine today I'm not really that worried about it I'm not sure how keen I am on these miniatures they're okay but they're not like 
amazing. Uh, like most of the stuff for Marvel Zombies so far has been really brilliant, but these guys, I don't know, there's just something that just I'm not massively uh, fond of. Maybe it's because I've painted so many Spider-Men uh, over the last couple of years, or it's just the sort of overall design. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't put my finger on it yet. However, work will continue tomorrow. Today is 2,228, uh, and I'm going to finish off Miles and Carnage. Because there's so few colours on these guys, it didn't take too long whatsoever. Um, it was just a simple matter of uh, giving an extra wash to Carnage um, to get the reds a little bit deeper. And then... Uh, basically dry brushing him and then sorting out his base and then I just sort out um so why do I keep saying sort out and then it was just a matter of painting um the red on miles um and a few minor details and then it was just the base uh, and jobs are good still not massively keen on either of the models but they're out of the way now so uh, I don't have to worry about them today is day 2229 and I'm going to start work on Flash Thompson and Gwen Stacy for Marvel's always completely forgot his name not really much to report today, only did about an hour's worth of work because it's a Saturday. Um, but yeah, they're kind of uh, nice little models, they shouldn't take too long. I should have them finished um, tomorrow. Um, as I said, there isn't much left to do on them at all, really, to be honest. Um, even though I didn't get far into them. Both really nice models, uh, very well designed and great poses. So uh, yeah, I look forward to finishing them off. Maybe something though, we'll have to wait till tomorrow. Today is 2,230, and I'm going to finish off uh, Gwen and Flash for Marvel Zombies. Both of them took uh, the full two hours. There wasn't really much left to do, but at the same time, what there was left to do still took up all the time. I don't know why I started talking like William uh, Shatner there. But both of them are fairly fairly nice models and fairly easy to uh, to get sorted. I really enjoyed painting these two, they're very relaxing, um, I don't know what it is about them that made them so relaxing, but yeah, they, they, I just felt it sort of very relaxing uh, time to do, I think it's because they're in fairly well posed, and uh, even though there's lots of detail on them, there's not like really fine detail, it's just like loads of tiny little bits that are nice and easy to sort out. Very happy with the fact I managed to get them finished as well, I've got plenty done this week, I'm very happy with the way things have gone this week. Getting that Zoat done, that was a really nice model to paint. Didn't really enjoy painting Miles and Carnage, but you know, it is what it is. Um, uh, Mace and those clone troopers, that stuff's always easy and fun to paint. And again, I've already gushed about Gwen and Flash. Well, that'll be it for this week until I do my role play later on tonight, which I'm actually running. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, think about giving a subscribe, uh, a thumbs up, and, um, well, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much again, and goodbye for now.